Hello model railroaders, John back with the 16 by 8 River Gorge layout. I would mentioned in previous videos we have flea market uh, come, flea markets coming up for model trains and I went to one today and it was packed. I mean there was a lot of people there. Um, I'm going to quick just show you what I bought and at the end of this video I took an enormous amount of pictures. There's, there's at least 25 photos and I took a couple little tiny mini mini clips of one of their little uh, G-scale trains running. It's just for fun. I took it. You can look at it if you want to. Otherwise, skip it. <clears throat> but anyways, I'll show you what I got. Um, today, I bought two of these. These are the Athern Blue Box uh, Ready to Roll um, boxcars. These are, these are the BNSF 40-foot high capacity high cube, I guess you call them. I bought two of these. Um, I love these cars. Probably one of my favorite box cars. I like the tall ones. These are, he covered it. He tried to cover up the, the price, but I can read they're 29 bucks when they're brand new. So that's what the, he says. He claims these are brand new. I took one out of the box and they look, there's no dust and no, it, they're beautiful. The wheels are weathered, pre-weathered um, steel. So anyways, and he wrote on here metal wheels. I don't know why he would do that covering up the old tag, but that's what he did. So I bought two of those different road names. I'd have bought a few more if he had them. And then I bought this bridge and pier combo set. That was, um, I, I can't even remember if I paid $2 or $3 for all of this. Um, and it's it's already been so painted it's some colors and stuff like that, but... It's what it is. It's perfect. I just thought it's something I can use in my dioramas when I make things. I always need stuff like that, so I just picked it up because it was cheap. There was so much stuff there, I'm going to just tell you that, that it was nearly impossible to decide. You know, I it was so crowded, and to sit and stand at a table was nearly impossible because people were kind of trying to push you along, so... I was there probably about 45 minutes, and this is just the stuff I grabbed. Um, this locomotive is a Genesis um, GP39 Phase 2. Um, now, it says here, the guy told me it was it was uh, DC, but I suspected it wasn't when I saw this. And it says inside it's an option to have it a DCC. Well, I don't think he really realized, because this came from a club uh, sale, I took the, I snapped off the very top cover of the thing, and there's a Digitrax decoder in there, and I can see the speaker is in there. So it's got full everything, and you can see here the price on that he had on it is eighty bucks. And this thing is fabulously mint. It is absolutely beautifully mint. So um, now, of course, it doesn't run on my DC layout, but I've been saying I'd like to get something that's DC. I did notice inside the box, I think it probably was DCC, this is in there. There's a little uh, plug uh, that must have been where the uh, Digitrax decoder sits. So that was sitting inside there. So somebody did already convert it, and he probably just didn't know it. I think he probably would have wanted a little more money for it than that. But hopefully everything works. I have no way to tell. Um, everyone says DCC will run on DC track. I've never really had good luck with it. I've never, I've had two or three different engines with DCC and they never seem to work on my track. So anyways, but I was going to, I'm going to get into the DCC anyways. So I thought 80 bucks, heck of a good, uh, choice to, you know, something to start. And I think that engine is so wonderfully detailed at Genesis. I'm very, very happy with it. So. Anyways, um, that's what I bought today. Um, like I say, there was a lot of people there, and there was a lot of O scale there and some G scale and tons of N scale. Um, this show was quite large. It was probably, if I had to say, I would say it was probably, well, for sure, a whole entire basketball-sized gymnasium, uh, maybe two basketball courts big. And there was hundreds and hundreds of people there so um it went for five hours i only stayed like i say 45 minutes i got there right when they well 15 minutes before they opened i stood in line so 
Anyways, it's uh, I got another one of these shows in two weeks. As a matter of fact, the same guy is going to be there who sold me that, and I'm going to tell him what he's, that I think he didn't realize what that was. Uh, so I'm going to tell, I'll let him know. But he's got several engines, and I'm going to pick up a couple more that I think would be kind of nice to have. So we'll see. If, hopefully he still has them. He had, a, he had 50, 60 engines there, so I'm sure he's still going to have some left. So anyways, that's what I got. And so stay tuned for pictures at the very end of this video, and there's a lot. So thanks for watching.